Hello and welcome to What's Moving in the Forex Market, brought to you by myself, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. As always, please keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. Now, as I was looking across the board and seeing what was setting up here to start this week, you know, I got to be honest, there really isn't a whole lot that has me excited. A lot of potential transitions going on, a lot of grinding movement, either up or, or down. So not the easiest landscape as far as multi-day moves go, or, or at least not from the point of view of looking for good quality movement. We could get multi-day moves, of course, but I think they may be more uh, bumpy, if you will. And so looking at the euro US dollar here on the daily chart and what I'm thinking here is this may be a pair to keep on the radar for a short not just over the next couple days but over the next couple weeks and maybe even months and that that stems from a larger time frames picture which I'll show you here in a moment but Looking at the daily, we had this this multi-day move up a couple weeks ago, which which was a nice rally, uh, made made a new high or a higher high there. Then we got this topping tail, price has retraced, and then it it tried to pop up last week and ultimately failed. So the supply is increasing, and and that kind of starts to confirm what the larger time frames are suggesting. So we had that increase in supply. This buy setup failed, and now we're coming deeper into these lower levels where we had that rally from, as I said, a couple weeks ago. So, you know, in the short term, it looks like we may get a little bit more of, of a pop higher into what's now overhead resistance, and then we could bleed even lower. So looking at the weekly chart, you can see it's been grinding up. It's at the top of this uh, resistance area, and that is in part why I think that this is going to be moving lower over the next couple weeks to months. And let me just jump ahead to the monthly chart, and I'll show you here. Rally up to the top of the range. Now remember, we're in a downtrend. So the bias is bearish overall. Now, you know, we were in a downtrend or Looking back here, we moved lower for what? One, two, three. You know, almost a, a full year straight, uh, 12 months to the downside. So the fact that Euro US dollar has been going sideways here for about an equal amount of time uh, to, to that of the drop is, is about right. Uh, but maybe now we're getting ready for the next, the next leg, the next wave. And that's what uh, I, I'm thinking may may be starting to happen or hey at least if nothing more now that we're at the top of the range a move back down towards the bottom may be in order uh, so that's where I'm I'm getting the bias that I think we could be moving lower over the next couple weeks to months but again as I said I don't necessarily see it as going to be a very fluid move and in part you, know, you look at this weekly it, it just was grinding its way up so if we do start to move lower, I don't think it's going to be with any real fluid movement initially uh, because we've got to break support. I mean, the, the weekly is just, as I said, grinding higher. So you're going to get these buyers looking to step up on pullbacks. Uh, however, if we do get that break of support, it could start to change the bias on the weekly, which could start to then bring it into alignment with the monthly. And you'll start to then see better follow through to the downside so that that's something we've got to be on the lookout for and, and therefore this is a bit of a kind of a thinking ahead type of, of play or approach but it is something we want to be aware of so if I circle back here to the daily chart again you can see the grind up ultimately we've started to see the the first indications of increasing supply um, but we're really going to want to see a break of this pivot low down here from where that strong rally took place. If we get below that area, then the daily chart's going to be in a much more obvious downtrend. It's going to have broken a key level of support. And I think you're going to start to see more people getting on board with this idea that Euro US dollar is going to be headed lower. 
right now, again, as as I've shown you these time frames, it's clear that things are not in alignment from a multiple time frame point of view. And so that that's really what we need to wait for in order to start to get that very fluid quality type of movement. Uh, but until then, we may be dealing with some of this more indecisive and erratic behavior. So with all that being said, uh, the, the landscape for the short term looks more to be like a, a hit and run type approach where you're in and out on intraday time frames. Maybe you want to carry something overnight into the next day if it looks good. But um, overall, as I said, the, the setups for fluid multi-day movement don't really seem to be there as we start this week. You know, as the week goes on, that could certainly change and our bias would need to then change with it. But as I said, for right now, as we head into the start of this week, things seem like they may be a little bit erratic to uh, to get going. But if you have any questions, I encourage you to email me, Kurt at pristine.com, or you can comment in the comment section below. But uh, until the next time, guys, stay patient, stay disciplined, and stay confident. And I will talk to everyone again soon.